Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Currently ranked 78 in season 10. We'll get back to the top 10 here, hopefully. Up against red, 107 last season. Black, 1700. Orange, 1400. Okay, so interesting first pick. Going wheatless, I guess he's expecting this 9411 to still be available for him. I could see 634 going here. I think that makes a lot of sense, yeah. And now I, I guess 5910. Okay. Uh, it does kind of feel like we have to take the 5910, doesn't it? So they're all without wheat. So we probably need to take the 5, 9, 10 and lock up some of that wheat. I could see red taking the 2, 4, 9. Um, orange might just have to go for the 8, 3, 5 straight up. But he's really kind of boxed himself in with that. I mean, what else can he do? I guess orange can do 8, 4 to 8, 10. Yeah, maybe orange does that. And then red takes the 294. There's just no wheat down here. I guess red could take the 6312. I don't think he would, though. If we took 6311 down, we run the risk of someone trying to take 6912 and chop us. Um, I think, yeah, we'll definitely start with the 5910. So we can take that first. Do we want to run to the three for one? That could be important, but the wood port also could be nice with like a six, nine, 12 to nine, 10 type of setup. So let's see, we're going to take this and I expect eight, three, five to go two, four, nine to go. And then probably like eight, four to eight, 10 type of idea. Um, which means the 6113 may still be open. I'm not sure. Black and orange can't take that. And. All right, let's go to the three for one. Um, and let's do this and just point right. I'm not really that worried about that three for one. Um, we'll see. I mean, we produce a lot of roads and I kind of, I want to grab that 910 to get extra roads, but we, we just kind of might have the whole board here. So maybe, maybe getting the sheep in the ore is, 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 that's pretty nice too. If we can get the 6311 first, um, I think that can go a long way. Cause then we can at least start producing some devs or potentially even a city. Wow, that makes no sense. Um, I think he just does two, four, nine here. Two, four, nine to two, six, and just hopes to be able to, like he could pop a dev right away, pull a road builder potentially, and grab the six, two and the eight, 10. And it's a monster setup. With the wheat port, I think he just, yeah. Okay, he's gonna go down instead, but same difference. Um, we could try for a sheep here. Uh, we could try for the whole thing, I guess. Why not? I, I don't know if we're going to get this from anyone. All right, we got it. Um, so red has rolled. He started with a dev. He rolled a brick, a sheep and a brick. The 11th, 6.11.3 is pretty important for us, actually. Yeah, and it's just kind of hard to settle again. We got the trade for the sheep this time, but it might be hard to do it again without rolling a sheep. So I think we want to take that first and get these two resources we don't produce. And there's other three for ones. This 5.2 is not necessarily incredibly valuable. And also our road network's down here at the bottom. 
So let's let's lock up this this first. This makes a lot of sense. I wonder if we ever try to run to that 6-2 with the wheat production that we have to, to get extra ore. Uh, this we're getting the good oh we're getting big rolls here with the wood. Um, can try. So we can settle the 11 3 12. I don't think that does a whole lot for us. I think we just want the three for one with all this brick and wheat production. Like, let's get the production going. And we we have this 6 2 idea. Although I, I'm not sure we really want to. I guess we could run all the way to the six and get the brick, the brick port. That's pretty nice, actually. But it, it does feel like our road network should be on the bottom. Yeah, let's just take the port though. That's that's gonna go a long way for us. And we've got no cards. It's gonna go on the 10 wheat or the 11 ore. It may be hard to build so many roads actually though, until we can drop a city. We we could just start popping if we can get cheaper ore trades. Um, yeah, I'll do this. This is a dev for us, but it gives Red a monster settle. Would we prefer to wait for him? Would we prefer to delay his settle by a whole turn? Well, I guess it's too late now, but I don't really, I'm not too keen on giving Red that settle. Like just for an ore? How many more devs is he going to get out of that settle than, than we get? We might get one dev out of that. Not even a dev. Like we're getting an ore for a dev. But yeah, I would like to be scrambling together some pops if possible. They can go a long way towards, you know, getting us somewhere, uh, to some other useful spot. Maybe we should have done that. A single road just doesn't do a whole lot for us at this point. We we got off to this quick start, but we have a little bit of a problem now of what to do next with just a bunch of brick and wheat. It's ironic since Red was by far the highest higher ranked player out of the two. And I think the 11 ore block makes a lot of sense. Um, do we ever drop two roads to the sit towards the six two? I think we'll hold this turn and I, yeah, we could, Maybe we should commit to a, a direction here with this. We could go to the 910. The 910 like really opens up the board for us because we're, we're going to start producing a ton of roads. Um, I don't think we ever get plowed there. Red has no devs in hand. Um, I guess the 6-2 is pretty nice. That brick port could be pretty nice as well. But we can go there next. Once we have the 910, we can run over there. And we should be able to outproduce red on roads anyways, even with, you know, two road networks.
Is this a city for orange? You can finally get left alone by red. That 12 is huge. Black's got to take this trade. Okay, so it's time to city now. It's a good start. We're going to need some fives and sixes as well, or a trade. Maybe we can get a roll of seven. I'll give it to him. I assume we're going to get robbed here. That's so brutal. Maybe I shouldn't have said it. See if we can get an ore trade here this turn. I don't think so. I think they all have wheat and they're going to use it, but maybe for sheep we might be able to get it. Come on, 11 or 6. There we go. Okay. We just need a not seven out here. I think we probably want to city up the 11 and the three, just cause it, it helps us get another city or more settles or pops like, come on, no seven. Okay. Um, we produce, 18 dots of brick and eight, do uh, no, 12 dots of wood. So I actually think we want to keep the three wood here. All right, let's just, let's just, uh, city up here. Yeah, and we're and we're sitting up the brick as well. So let's keep the wood With the right rolls we could potentially even plow red Yeah, we're very close to plowing red um, That's good. He's he can pop again now with that sheep he just took. Oh, well he he rolled the sheep anyways. Okay, just a five or a nine and we can plow red. Okay. Um, what does red have? It's a bunch of sheep. It does split our road and red is... Um, red is a road and a night away, but I think black's going to take army here. So I'm not worried about him sneaking a double play that much. It does suck to port for a brick, doesn't it? No, but that ro that six is really valuable. I was going to say we could pop settle the three, 12, 11, but the six is more valuable. I think we can get pops or cities out of that six. So, Oh, 
Oh, and we're not getting Rob still. Does he have a knight? This is dangerous right now. If Black doesn't have a knight, he actually could sneak the double play. We need to we need to get uh What do we block here? Uh red has or or wheat um I don't think we're going to block our own roads. Uh I guess we'll just block the ore. Okay, we can pop with this. That's not bad. At least he doesn't have a knight. Okay, we can take, we should be able to take road back. Or not. Um. Red just wins with a knight and a VP this turn. Just don't take the wood. I think we gotta try to rob that brick from Black if he still has one. Nah, I think he used it all. I will still rob black anyways. Um. What does orange have? I don't think orange is going to trade anyways. All right, we'll just pop again, I guess, and just hope red doesn't have that. Well, we can win with road next turn. Okay, we survived. He should self-block the six if he knows what's, if he knows, since he knows he has the roads, or we have the roads, but... Yeah, he's going to have to build a road here. If he ri he there's already been a mono. He's already ripped the brick once. Okay. Yeah, this should be just game. Take Sixes, eights, and nines, and, uh, and the twelves. Yeah, the twelves were huge early. I mean, Red can't complain about getting robbed. I, I don't think like two turns ago he he was he was really knocking on the door of the double play. So yeah, that's the danger with doing that, right? You you have a window to win it, and if you don't win it, then you're you get beat up too during that window, so you're you're pretty much done. Um, maybe he should have just focused on buying more devs. I, I don't know what his cards were at times, but I thought he played well. He robbed me correctly most of the game, even when it looked like it might be someone else. Um, but yeah, sixes, eights, and nines was we didn't have the eights, uh, but we had the nines big and the the sixes were brick, so the roads were really critical for us here to get the game to get our uh, setup moving. Our, our starting setup is not strong; it's brick, wood, and wheat. But we built into the setup we wanted, so uh, the the those rolls were pretty critical. The tens were light, which affected us a little bit. It those that's kind of spread around. That didn't hurt black though, and. Uh, the threes were fine, you know, it's a three. Fours were light, that was nice to not, the fours popping off could have really damaged us. So yeah, good dice. Um, 
All right, catch you guys next time.